Hey, it's Dr. Ko from Reset Ketamine and wanted to share with you three ways that you can support someone who's receiving ketamine infusions. The first one is to keep an open mind. Getting ketamine infusions is a little bit out there and it is off-label use. So you really need to support this person who's receiving it. Your words are very powerful. So keep a positive, open mind as they're receiving their ketamine infusions. The words you say can impact another person and it plays a huge role. So one example of this, has anyone ever come up to you and said, wow, you look really tired. And later throughout the day, you begin to feel tired. So similarly, just be cognizant of what you're saying around someone as they're receiving ketamine infusions and be open to whatever they may tell you about it. The second thing you can do is provide and hold space for them. And what I mean by this is simply listening. They may have some memories or emotions or other things that come up during their ketamine infusion. And simply listening to their experience without judgment and being kind of a, a reflector of what they are saying, what they are experiencing, can be incredibly powerful and useful for your friend or family member who's receiving ketamine infusions. You can be like an open container or vessel that's just kind of hanging out there holding this basket of empty space so that they can just fill it up with whatever they may need to do. And you know, sometimes when you have something going on in your mind, it's incredibly cathartic to just release and share it with someone, someone you know that is not going to be judgmental or dismissive of what you're saying. Similarly, you can do the same thing. Just listen without judgment. Be open to whatever may come up for them. And the third and final thing you can do is be a ride for them and listen as they receive their discharge instructions. So as you know, one of the things about ketamine infusions is that you're not allowed to drive immediately after the ketamine treatments. So if you could pick them up, drop them off from their ketamine treatments, that would be incredibly useful. And as you're on the drive home, you don't have to say much. Just be a safe, responsible driver and sit with them as they're coming home. Finally, you can also listen to the discharge instructions that the doctor might provide for them because they might be in a slightly altered state of mind when they're receiving this. So if you can be like a second pair of ears, listening for the instructions, that would be incredibly useful. So those are the three ways that you can support someone who's receiving a ketamine infusion. If you have any questions or comments about this, please leave me a message below. Mm -hmm.